We are back at it again with a little build breakdown and the boys here, Eric, beautiful RS here for the RSSTI. And I think the first thing we are gonna talk about is the outside of the car, which we, we can pretty much get straight into it. This is pretty much the 22B of the US, uh, which is the wheels, the brakes, outside, it's literally perfect. So starting on the outside, actually what year is it first off? The 2000. RS. 2000 RS, which is now full STI swapped, literally everything down to a T. Transmission, interior, it's literally gorgeous. And the color? Uh, M3 Laguna Seca Blue. And one of the biggest things that I really, really want in my car is the wing, which is, what do you say, version, there's version 5, which is a little bit different than version 6. This is version 6 with the lip. What? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Excellent. And then I think next we can talk about the wheels, which is, what are these coming off? So it's a JDM option for the Bug Eye STI. Okay. And then specs? Uh, BBS uh, is a 17 by 7. Perfect. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up a couple pictures of like a 22B so you guys understand what we're talking about when we say the wheels and the brakes. Wheels being gold and the brakes are red. And that's kind of the reason why you're staying with red. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, I think another big thing we're going to talk about is the engine, of course, which is putting down, what do you say, four, 470 and then 470. 470. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And we're actually running the same turbo, which is pretty cool too. Um, and then as far as the engine goes, you're saying it's a hybrid build. Yes, it's a woman's performance signature build, which is a hybrid uh, 257. There you go. And obviously you can tell from the inside of the car, GD dash swap. Literally looks like my car, it's kind of hilarious. And also, something I really want to do is the roof is now black. Everything is black up here, which is just painted, you said. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It looks so much better instead of that tan. Actually, the GC on mine, like, I don't even want anyone to go in there. It's literally stained. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like, someone might have died in there. It's the okay. It's either dark gray or tan, so. Uh, God, it's just freaking garbage. Uh, what else do we need to touch on? I mean, besides Laguna Seca Blue, obviously, the wheels are done. Freaking looking sick. These are the wheels that actually I found online a little bit ago. Um, and I wanted to get them, they frick fit like perfect. Ah, uh, like what else is there? We got the wing, obviously like JDM tails. Is this USDM rear bumper? This is USDM rear bumper, yes. Okay. And then another thing that I want to do on mine is deleting this little side panel too, because it looks a lot cleaner. But then there's holes obviously, right? Yeah, so you have to fill in the holes for the side molding. But it looks so much better. And then as far as what you're riding on, suspension-wise, so, I saw the, like, their tines or teens, I don't know how you say it. No, it's on Fortune 500. Oh, Fortune 500. So, but the uh, the suspension the, is all from the 06 WRX, so okay. it's a GDY track. Um, it does have an 05 SDI brack. Okay. Um, but all the sway bars and links are original WRX, so probably upgrade those at a later date. Oh my god. And then you were, what you were also saying is, but you have STI rear axles yes so i have uh 04 sti transmission with with dry shaft uh r180 diff with uh -huh. matching uh axles yep. and hubs five by 100 five by 100 just just to keep the brakes like you're huge on the brakes yes like this is the og freaking 22b i i love it and what's crazy is what i told him right when he pulled up is how good it looks just stock body like when it's done right it actually looks super super good which I haven't seen one done like this well, like with the wing, with the wheels, obviously change the color and all that stuff. Um, so I don't know, I mean, it looks freaking great. So it makes me keep going back and forth on whether or not I'm gonna do wide body. Although I'm pretty convinced I want to. You said you would eventually. 
If there's rust, I will do it. If there's no rust, I think we'll do it. We gotta keep the clip because yeah. then you, you have to freaking stick to it. Yeah. Um, another the cool, couple cool things you were telling me is obviously the hood, aluminum. Badass. You said there was some place, where is it? In Ohio, there's a dealer that has roughly 40 left in the US, so we should jump on that. No, no we can't tell them because everyone's gonna freaking jump on it. Jeez. <laughs> Wow. What tires are you running? Um, it's a Bridgestone Potenza RE71R. You like them? Yeah. And then what you were also saying is the original setup that you had on here was BBSs, yeah. STI BBSs. Old 4 STI BBSs. When they were like 225s. Right. And then these are 215s right. and you said you like them a little bit better. Yeah, I think the 215s with this body, it's, 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 I get more grip out of it, which is kind of weird. Hmm. I get better turning. Interesting. So Okay, so now Eric is going to try to convince me we're also going to get a little POV action. It's going to be freaking sick. You're going to try to convince me to go on 85. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's already doing it, so like it's okay. Like I'm going to do it eventually. But uh, we're going to see because, like I said, we have the same we have the same turbo. It's kind of funny. And um, this is the power that they said I would pretty much be getting on 85. So it's going to be kind of exciting to see. And also the fact that your car weighs like probably 500 pounds less than mine. So it's going to be interesting. 2,600 pounds. It's going to be interesting. Sick. VLS. Did you get them like fairly recently or you've had yeah. them for a little bit? Oh, okay. No, I just put them on about maybe six months ago. Wow. I've never seen them. They look freaking sick. Yeah, they have uh, water tam. They have uh, oil tam as well. Um, so we got they, wide band boost right. and oil pressure. They actually have a speed density one where it has dual gauges for your intake temp. What? Yeah. These Look things are freaking sick. Alright, so we've been cruising for a little bit and uh, we did just did one little baby pull, fourth gear, and it just, it sounds great. And it pulls hard. I thought it was third. I really thought that was third, at least. God damn. It feels good though. You're saying you want it a little bit stiffer? Sorry? Probably suspension wise, you feel like you want it a little yeah. bit stiffer? Yeah, I think the sway bars will make a big difference. Uh, end legs definitely will make a big difference. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right now it's just on the stock that we are on. But, and then as far as, you said Fortune 500, right? Fortune 500, yes. In person, it sounds freaking awesome. I don't know how well it sounds on the mic. Um, and this is a perfect spot to turn around. So we'll just pull off right here. Wow. All right, well, th thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Now I'm, now I'm going to go even more broke than I already am. It's freaking great. So for some reason, Eric just said, you know what? It's be a great idea for me to drive the car. And this is even down to the fact that he has uh, in here a Blob ISTI transmission. So same exact gearing as the one that's going in my car. So it couldn't be any more the same with me going 85 and the same turbo and the same setup, even down to the drivetrain. So I'm very excited. Um, obviously this car is probably gonna feel a little bit faster because of the whole power to weight. You said it's like what, like 2,700? About 2,600 pounds. 2,600. And then I think the GDs are like what, 32 or 33? Yeah, about 500 more. Yeah, that's definitely a huge, huge difference. So I'm excited, we'll see what happens. All right, so we just got finished up with a little drive. So it's official, I'm going I'm going 85, it's 100%, thank you, this is all your fault, I'm gonna be broke, I'll send you a bill. And um, I think that's pretty much it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. And also, I'll pop up an Instagram over here, and hopefully you'll keep everyone updated with some nice pictures, you gotta post more. You gotta post more on the Instagram. And uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, we're gonna catch you on the next one, peace out.